everyone, thanks for joining me. It's the fifth weekend in the month, so instead of continuing on with our scheduled My Time to Create challenges, I figured I would show you how to do a technique using vellum cardstock. We're going to be embossing it, then coloring it. It's one of my favorite things to do with vellum, and it's really easy, and it gives you a really cool 3D effect. So after watching this quick, simple video, I hope that you decide to join us in the challenge and give it a try, and hopefully you've learned something new or revisited an old technique. So let's get started. Okay, so for today's technique, I'm going to be using a stamp set from my favorite things called Spring Sprouts by Sarah Williams. She's the girl who did my blog, and I've been dying to use this set, but haven't quite yet had a chance. I already have my card all laid out as to how I want it, so that way it inspired basically what stamp I would use from the set. I'm going to be using this flower image since it looks just like my paper, as well as, of course, the butterfly image. So basically what you want to do is get some vellum cardstock. I already die cut my piece. I have my stamps already on my block, and you'll also want a permanent ink. I'm using my Palette New York ink, but um, stays on works well too. Memento ink should work as well, but you might want to heat set it. Make sure it's inked really well, and I'm just going to stamp it onto my vellum cardstock, just like that. Now I have a mouse pad and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to take my embossing stylus. This has two tips on it. There's a small tip and a larger tip and depending on the image you might want to use one versus the other. I'm going to use my small tip for this. So for my butterfly all you're doing is literally almost like coloring in the back. I'm going to do the outside of my butterfly, just like that. And I'm gonna go over it. And what this does is it gives that part a raised look. I hope you can see that. And it also colors it white. I'm now going to flip this back over and I'm going to go to my flower. So I'm going to do the centerpiece for my flower. Now you don't want to push too hard because if you do, you will go through the vellum. And you can always go back over it. Just try to stay in the lines and don't push, you know, too hard. A lot of times if you rub it over wax paper, that'll help your embossing stylus glide more smooth. Okay. Now you could emboss the whole image, I'm not going to. I'm just, like I said, I'm going to do select pieces of my image so those have a little bit more pop. Now, most people, when they use this technique, will color the image from behind. I like to color it from in front. So this is what my image looks like, and you might not be able to tell, but it is raised and has a little bit of pop. Now, getting inspired by my card is how I chose my colors. So I'm obviously going to take a green Copic marker and I'm going to do my leaves in the green. Now, you don't want to push too hard because if you color it from this angle, it'll pull back in. Again, most people do color from the back. I just find you get better color if you color from the front. So my butterfly, I'm going to do the outside of the wings in this blue, and I'll probably do the inside of the butterfly in the orange. Now I'm just coloring again from the front. This is all in blue. Now I'm going to go on to my orange. I'll do the outside orange. 
and I didn't really have a plan for how I was going to color my image. I just kind of grabbed what I had for colors that matched and away I went. Now I'm using Copic markers because they are permanent. You do want to use a nice permanent ink. You don't want to go with something that isn't going to take and rubs right off. So I think I'll do that. And I think I'll do a little bit of orange on the inside of my butterfly. I'm not going to color all of it, just for a little interest. And I think I'm going to get a darker teal color, or blue rather, and brighten it up a little bit. There we go. Now, my color is going to pop a little bit more because when I'm done and I layer this onto my card, I do have a white circle that it's going to go on. And what I like to do at this point is use glue dots to adhere my vellum to my cardstock piece because then you won't see, you know, where you adhered the vellum. So, I will finish coloring this with my darker blue. And then I'm going to take my glue dots, which have disappeared, put them on the back, and I'll put one more on the butterfly. Again, you usually want to layer it behind an image so that you don't see it. Bring it over to my card, make sure it's laid out exactly where I want, and I think I want it about there. And once it's right where I want it, I just lightly push it down. And now we're done. We have a really pretty embossed vellum piece that matches our card. And it took only a few minutes. Now it's your turn to give it a try.